try to buy us some more time. And it's only a matter of time before my worlds collide. All right, guys, so we have a motley crew here. We have Ed, we have John Miguel, and we have the lovely Rachel. So, guys, what brings you out to the Asians on Film Film Festival? Uh, so my film, Bicultural, is premiering, is having our second LA screening tomorrow at uh, the LGBTQ block. Um, and this is John, he plays my dad in it, in the film. Um, and Ev is our music composer. John, how, you're, you're so young to have a child. You must have been in middle school when that happened. Well, you know, I had to do a lot of makeup, you know, make myself look older, you know, yeah, get a, a dad haircut. <laughs> I had to do everything um, to make myself look older on the film. You know, even my even my, my wardrobe had to be different. Um, but you know, it's a great film. I think everybody should should watch it for sure. Um, and it has a very powerful message for sure. And especially with a talent like Rachel, I'll stop. she's an up, she's a very huge up and coming. Stop player. bragging about your daughter. We don't want to hear it. No, I'm just <laughs> Typical Asian parent. Well, Ev, Ev, can we ask? Uh, what was it like? You know, scoring the music for this short film, especially you know with topics that are so. I don't want to say heavy, but you know, it's 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 got to be difficult. Uh, I mean, Rachel had such a vision for it that when I see somebody who's as passionate and talented as her, I mean, it really just comes easy. So we had a lot of fun with it, and I think it came out how it needed to. So, well, and you know, it looks like a very multicultural cast and crew. How important was it to keep diversity? Uh, represented in your film. Oh my god, always. Uh, diversity is always important and for me, I mean, okay, so Bicultural is about a second generation Filipino American who is struggling to come out to her family because, you know, conservative values and so she puts up like this fake relationship with her guy best friend when she has a secret girlfriend and so that topic alone, you know, it's, it's, it explores so much about Asian American culture, Filipino American culture and that within there is just like the our, our whole, the whole time, my mindset was just about like bringing awareness to our culture for diversity and like, and LGBT, you know, stories that need to be spoken and need to be talked about in the Asian American community. And as an actor, how important was it to be a part of this, to be an actor in it? Uh, was there a struggle bringing all these, you know, honestly, sometimes undiscussed topics in Asian American community? Um, I think this is like one of those things where it was a role that not only was I like, blessed to get, but I had to do this. Um, it was something that I need to get out. Um, I, I've had a very hard life um, as a kid, and like, and, and understanding um, what my character had gone through and being able to express that was you know, it, it was an, an amazing, gratifying experience. And I am just like so glad that Rachel was able to not only find me in a reading that I was doing for another play, but also uh, cast me in this film. And uh, we're talking about other feature projects, and she's doing a web series right now. It's I, it's, it's crazy. I'm, it's, it's such an honor. I love it. So, you know, guys, 2018 just started. Uh, what other projects can we catch in? What can we catch your music in? Um, right now, I'm only producing for myself and uh, a lot of other short films around the area. So, pretty much that. Cool. And for yourself? I have this feature film, which I'm starring in, called uh, Syndicate Smasher. Um, I play alongside uh, Lauren Landon and Mel, uh, Mel Novak. Uh, we have this like, amazing action-adventure film. Uh, where's all the syndicates uh, fighting against us. And then I also have a, a short film that's called uh, Fatal Funnel, which is it's part of a company that I'm trying to bring up called Stunt Tactical, where we teach people how to use guns safely and correctly on set. So this is the father you don't want to go to on prom night. I'm just saying, any, anybody you know looking at data, just remember, guns. And this guy's just going to be writing a score the whole time, like boom, boom, boom. And, and Rachel, what do you have coming up in uh, 2018? Oh, I'm so excited for 2018. I'm working on a web series right now, uh, which eventually will be a television show called Lady Parts. I'm co-producing it with Amy Park, my amazing co-producer, co-creator. Um, so we're working hard on the show. And yeah, and we're also bringing about a lot of um, Asian American content and um, a, a new media company called Empowerhouse Media. Um, and so we're, we're just all about like empowering women, LGBT, people of color. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of exciting new things for 2018. I'm so excited.